Hi small traders, it's Lucas from Gontrier. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you how to create some money management function using Metasor 5 and Python. Let's get started. So in this video, first, I will show you how to place a take profit and a stop loss in the request order. And then I will show you how to find the optimal values for the stop loss and the take profit depending of your money management. So first, we need to import Metasolar 5, DayTime and NumPy, and we need to initialize the bound between Metasolar 5 and Python. Then we'll use our own find finding mode function to place the order because as we have seen in the last video, it's very difficult to find the finding mode using the MT5 function. So to place a stop loss and a take profit, it will be very, very simple. You just need to place the absolute value, so the price of the take profit and the stop loss you want to choose for this order. For example, if you want to take a buy position, you will just place your take profit as the ask price plus, for example, 100 pips and the stop loss, the ask price minus 100 pips. For the sell position, it will be exactly the same thing, but the take profit and the stop loss will be the opposite because if you short the market, the take profit will be lower than the price and the stop loss will be greater than the price. So now let's talk about the main point of this video, how to find the best stop loss and take profit depending of your risk management. So. To do that, I have created a risk reward threshold function, which take the symbol, the type of position, for example, buy position or short position, and the level of risk and the reward that you want. For example, here by default, you need to put a symbol and it will be a long position with a risk of 1% of your total capital, and a reward equal to 2% of your total capital. So to do it, it will be very simple. You need to extract the leverage because we need to take into account the leverage to place the take profit and the stop loss. Then we need to extract the price to find the number of decimal because if you work on the Forex, you will always normally have the same decimal after the point. For example, if you trade the GPI, you will have three decimals instead of five, for example, for the Euro USD. So you need to extract this value. Then we will compute the variation in percentage discounted by the leverage. Okay. If you are in a leverage of one and you want to take 1% of risk, you will accept 1% variation of the assets. But if you have a leverage, you need to divide this accepted variation by the leverage. Because when you want to risk 1% of your capital, you want to risk 1% of your initial amount and not your leveraged capital. So then it will be very simple to find the optimal take profit and stop loss. You will just import the price. So if it is a long position, we import the ask price. So here it was just to take the number of decimals. So if it was the ask price or the bid price, it doesn't matter. But here we need to extract the ask price and then we need to multiply the ask price by the variation down and the variation up, which represents the variation discounted by the leverage to obtain the stop loss and the take profit. And then you will just round the price to the number of decimal of the asset. Generally, you don't need to put the exact decimal, but to be sure that we don't have any issues, it's better to do it. Then if you want to find the best stop loss and take profit for a short position, you will use exactly the same thing, but as always in the opposite way. You will take the bid price you will multiply the price by the downward variation and the upward variation. And then instead of add the price var up here, we need to do minus the price var up. And here 
instead of minus the plus because we need to do exactly the opposite. So then let me show you how this function works. For example, if I put a long position of the euro USD using a leverage of 100, because on my Metacode demo account, I have a leverage of 100, I need to put my take profit and my stop loss at this level. Obviously, you need to adjust the risk of your capital you want to risk depending on the leverage. Okay, you can't use a risk of 1% if you work with a leverage of 100, okay? It's not good because when you will place your order, the spread will be very high, okay? Because you will use a leverage of 100 and then the enter price will be very close to the stop loss. So you really need to adjust the risk depending on your leverage. And then you can also find the volume that you need to take depending of your capital. In the overall, when you have your optimal take profit and stop loss, you can find the best volume you need to take depending of the capital you want to invest and the leverage of your account. So here, I will not explain this function, but you can find this function and many others in the MetaTor 5 tutorial in the description. So for example, if I want to invest of my own capital $120 on the Euro USD, and if I have a leverage of 100, I will have an invested capital leverage of 12,000. As we can see, we will extract the trade size. So here, one low is equal to $100,000. Then we extract the price and we will compute the lot size. The issue is that, for example, you can't put, for example, here, 11, 81, etc. You need to put a value above 0 0.01, below, below 500, and with two numbers after the decimal. So here we want to place a volume equal to 0 0.01. 11, 81, etc. low. So our job is to round this value to be able to take an acceptable volume in the MetaTor 5 platform. So we will round the low and then take the down rounded low to find the good volume to put in our order. For example, here, if I want to invest on the GDP USD with an amount of 500, which come from my own capital, I will take a volume equal to 0 0.41. So it's very interesting to create this type of function when you want to create your own trading bot. So as I said before, you can find this function detailed in my tutorial MetaTor 5 live trading using Python with the link in the description. And if you like the video, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. It's very essential for my SEO.